A lot of talk online lately about the possibilities of an asteroid hitting Earth in December of 2032. Astronomers first detected asteroid 2024 YR4 back in December, and NASA's been keeping a really close eye on the odds that it could hit the planet. Weather person meteorologist Garrett Hyde to get a look at what's going on in tonight's Weather IQ report. Yeah, Mitch, and basically anything within about a 27.8 million miles of Earth's orbit is considered a near-Earth object. And as of right now, there are nearly 38,000 near-Earth objects orbiting around the sun right now, and 315 of those were actually detected just this year. So finding new ones is pretty common. This what you're looking at there is 2024 YR4, detected all the way back in January of uh, the earlier this year. But the asteroid stands out since it was upgraded in January to what's known as a level 3 on the Torino scale. This is a, basically a measure estimating the risk factor based on the uh, size of the uh, of the impact and the orbital uncertainty. And this actually reached the second highest threat level ever recorded behind a level four Apophis asteroid back in 2004. The probability of the impact was around about 1% initially, jumped up to around 3% uh, just yesterday, and of course it has dropped since. But all of that certainly does sound fairly scary, but it is completely normal for those probability levels to jump as we collect more data. And what a difference 24 hours can certainly make because that impact probability fell again throughout this afternoon down around 0.27%. A large reason for that being, well, is largely because of the fact that as we start to get a little bit more certainty, the overall size of that uncertainty starts to shrink more and more. And of course, then we start to get a better idea of that. And eventually, as the overall uncertainty moves beyond Earth, it'll drop to zero. And NASA is certainly planning to use the new James Webb Space Telescope to do a few more observations in the coming months. So the likelihood of this killer asteroid impacting here in the next seven years still has about a 99.73% 99 chance of completely missing us. And as we further refine its orbit, I would expect that number to fall even more. Supporting the studio, I'm meteorologist Garrett Hyde with Iowa's News Now.